there Mission Control. I know it's been a long time since my last video and that's because I've been really busy doing stuff that does not make for good YouTube. I've been sitting in my office uh, for months uh, designing the next version, version 2.1 is actually what we're calling it, of the uh, grow tower. And I've got them all done and uh, right now I am waiting for parts. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day behind me. Uh, we've had quite a bit of snow that has delayed all the parts showing up for this tower build. All I need to do on this tower build is build it. We know the towers work, uh, so this is just you know a less expensive version of it. I uh, got all the cost out that I possibly could for this go round without having big tooling, which is the next step that we need, and we need investment dollars for that. Uh, but I got it all designed. I got all the parts ordered. Uh, drawings are done. Uh, the electric, the engineering drawings are done. Excuse me. And I'm just waiting for parts. So let me show you what I've been up to. We're gonna head into the shop, and uh, you'll see. There we go. All right. So I'm inside, and you can see back there all those boxes. It's a whole bunch of parts, uh, all from the uh, bill of materials that I've made. Uh, so we're like really ready to go here. We got the drawings done, we got the bill of materials done, we got all the suppliers ready. Uh, so now I'm gonna take you over to the workshop. Here we go into the workshop. All right, first thing you're gonna notice, well, I want you to notice is that we have a table made because I'm sick and tired of working on the ground. The next thing you'll notice is that when I ordered these, somehow they miscut the plasma table miscut a piece but this is actually a mold this is not a grow volume this is the new universal grow deck mold i just got it done and it came out pretty nice uh, so the reason for the mold it doesn't need to be perfect or anything like that is just to let the plastic pieces sit on and then we're actually going to need to do plastic welding here we have to do the plastic welding because we don't have the money to pay for tooling where we could actually have this thermal molded uh, or vacuum molding, which would be the, the right way to do this particular mold uh, and would significantly reduce our costs uh, quite a bit. But we just don't have the $16,000 that it costs to build this mold uh, for actual thermal molding. Instead, I spent a few hundred dollars on, uh, on standard steel here, didn't even go stainless steel, and then got it all welded together and uh, again, nothing, sorry, there's just nothing really fancy to show you there, welding stuff, you know. Uh, so got it all done and it looks great. And we also built a table and that's a router down there, a router that we might end up using because, uh, which I don't wanna do because it's not gonna be precise enough for what we need to do and it's not set up and it's kind of dangerous to do what I need when the plastics get here. Uh, we actually need to cut out some stuff out of plastic and for that, there's something back there. Let's go see. So here it is. This, well, there's the mold for the reservoir, which is for fish and for uh, the hydroponics. That's 63 gallons, and one of these tanks can service up to 13, or 15 to 33 towers, depending on what setup you're in. So if you're in hydroponic mode, you fill that with hydroponic solution and water at the right mixture and uh, you can service up to 13, or I'm sorry, 15 to 33, I keep saying 13, keep trying to combine them, uh, 15 to 33 grow towers off that one reservoir. So you, you only need one reservoir and, you can, and the reason there's a difference is because there's different plants that require a different quantity. So anyway, you could do that. But that's not the important and cool thing. The important and cool thing is this mobile table, which is right here, which is a little over uh, five feet in each dimension, it's square, it's on rollers. Guys, have any guess what's gonna be on there? Do, 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 the thing that is going to be on there is a CNC router table to actually take care of all the precision cuts that we need to make, use the computer to set it all up, and then let the table do all the work so it's very, very precise. So we'll be able to do quite a few cool things when we get that all set up. Uh, I built that table and built that table uh, with just material I had around here. 
Uh, it was cool because I used SolidWorks to design both these tables and I found then at the end I just had a cut sheet and oh my goodness that works so much better uh, than my normal hacking things together. So yay, design work is always good. Uh, I've also had, I've put plastic up on the, uh, just temporarily there, uh, where you can see uh, on the stalls so that the, uh, I can keep some heat in here. It has been cold. But here in the Northwest, we actually have not had the same cold that they've been having in the rest of the country. Uh, the folks down in Houston, our partners, are at, it's actually colder down there than it is in Alaska. Uh, and it's certainly colder down there than it is here. You can kind of see my breath. Uh, right now, it's, a, it's above freezing. I think it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is that, like 4 or 5 degrees Celsius, somewhere in there? Uh, so <clears throat> it's colder down there than it is here. Uh, but still, nobody likes to be cold, so I uh, put those things up just to uh, help keep a little bit of heat in. It, it doesn't do much, but it does enough. So that's just a quick update of where we're at. Uh, the next big step is to get the uh, towers built, and or this tower, just one built, which is going to be a double decker, and uh, we'll get that all put together and show you guys how that looks. And also, we have uh, quite a bit of stuff going on in the garage. We replanted everything, and. Uh, I'm going to be excited to share that all with you. So, hey, hope you enjoyed this quick video update. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Ring that bell down below so you get notified when I put up new videos. We are still on YouTube, and Mrs. Martian is even doing some videos, so you'll see those things coming up. And uh, I'm back on Facebook. I got canceled on Facebook. I'm not sure why. They didn't tell me. Uh, and uh, I think I know why. It's because I'm a... Uh, uh, so you can follow me on Facebook, go up top and follow the Facebook link. It goes to the new one and please, uh, rejoin the real Martian on Facebook there. So the only real Martian on Facebook. So yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they're all still up though. Really? I'm, if you need something, shoot me an email. <laughs> In the meantime, this is the real Martian out.